all right, going to do a video showing that Rich Pankowski's heresy of denying that the blood of Jesus Christ washes away all sin is not only Roman Catholic, but it's also rooted in Mormonism. Because I've shown in past videos that Rich Pankowski's heresies on justification, heresies on salvation, line up perfectly with Roman Catholicism. But in this video, I'll show uh, that his heresies, particularly the heresy of denying that all sin is forgiven at salvation, is also straight out of Mormonism. See, his works-based salvation, because if you're living holy to save yourself, that is works-based salvation, plain and simple. And it's straight out of Mormonism, but in order for that to be the case, you have to deny that Jesus Christ forgives all your sins at salvation. So here is a clip of uh, Rich Pankowski teaching this heresy, uh, denying that future sins are forgiven. This is the first clip. But, but your future sins are forgiven. You don't need to ask for forgiveness. What a lie. What a lie. All right, here is the next clip of Rich Pankowski denying that your future sins are forgiven by the blood of Jesus Christ. Okay, check this out. If your sins are forgiven by the blood of Christ, he will go to he you will go to heaven. If your sins are forgiven, that is correct. Um... But again, your sins aren't forgiven before you commit them. You know, God didn't forgive your sins before you commit them. You, when you commit sin, you need to repent of that. You need to confess and repent. Now, you're going to see that what Pankowski is preaching, this denial of the blood of Jesus Christ washing away all your sins, your future sins, past, present, and future sins, is no different than what you'd find in the false gospel taught by Mormonism. Here are some Mormon uh, texts, some Mormon writings that uh, preach the, the very same thing. This is in the Doctrines of Covenants, section 82, sorry, Doctrines and Covenants, section 82, uh, verse 7. It says, And now verily I say unto you, I, the Lord, will not lay any sin to your charge. Go your ways and sin no more. But unto that soul who sinneth shall the former sins return, saith the Lord your God. And another thing about Mormonism is that the, the salvation in Mormonism is totally hinging on you staying saved. This is in the Gospel Principles, 1997, page one or sorry, 253. Those who receive forgiveness and then repeat this sin are held accountable for their former sins. Again, it's denying that the blood of Jesus Christ washes away all your sins. All the, that all your sins are forgiven. This is from the this is a writing by the Mormon Missionary Discussion. Uh, this, uh, this is written in 1981. This is page 36 of that writing. It says, uh, in order to remain forgiven, we must never commit this sin again. So you have to remain forgiven. Is that not what Minkowski's preaching? You have to, you know, it's a lie to say that all your sin is forgiven. You know, it's salvation's continual obedience. It's no different. Now, what does the Word of God say on this matter? The Word of God clearly shows that the, that, uh, the blood of Jesus Christ washes away all your sins. Jesus Christ's blood is sufficient for your salvation. See, if you're having to live holy to stay saved or be saved, that means the blood of Jesus Christ is not sufficient. What does the word of God say? Acts chapter 13, verse 38 to 39. Be it known unto you, therefore, men and brethren, that through this man is preached unto you the forgiveness of sins, and by him all that believe are justified from all things, from which he could not be justified by the law of Moses. Simple enough. Colossians 2, verse 13 to 14. And you being dead in your sins and the circumcision of your flesh, hath he quickened together with him, having forgiven you all trespasses, blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us, which was contrary to us, and took it out of the way, nailing it to his cross. Notice that, forgiven you all trespasses. Titus 2, verse 13 to 14, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people, zealous of good works. All iniquity. 1 John 1, verse 7 and 9, if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Jesus Christ, his Son, cleanseth us from all sin. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And Hebrews chapter 10, verse 17 to 18. Now their sins and iniquities will I remember no more. Now where remission of, of these, sorry, of these is, there is no more offering for sin. Okay. Uh, that's not what Pankowski preaches, it's not what Roman Catholicism preaches, and it's not what the cult of Mormonism preaches. Why? Because they're all, they're all working their way to heaven. Pankowski is no different than what a Mormon or a Catholic priest would proclaim 
in terms of their false gospel, a false gospel hinging on you, uh, among your self-righteousness, among you keeping yourself saved. That's what it comes down to. Don't be deceived by Rich Pankowski or his Mormon Catholic heresies. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.